Aloha, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first round game of the EA Sports Maui Invitational Tournament between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Furman Paladins. Number 13 has provided valuable leadership as an upperclassman. He's a senior player that brings a professional attitude to the floor. The Paladins will have to be prepared defensively for him tonight, Dick. The Paladins might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. There's no fooling him. He gets the block in the post. Look at him control the paint, Mr. Nessler. Get that stuff out of here, man. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure the basketball. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It is too much for him, and he lost possession. The Golden Gophers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to feed inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. We're going to move it around the perimeter. High post screen. So effective that they get that rejected. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Watch the replay coming up. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset for the bucket. In and out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Number 50 gets the ball. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. They look to get it to the inside. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. There's just great hustle and great defense with the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Number 15 takes the feed. Goes for the deep one. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. He looks at the hoop. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. The power forward with the ball. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. No 
bumps it in. Number 13 is eager and excited to compete. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Trying to go inside. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They still don't score. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. We're picked by Sal. I'm Bernesler. Nice to have you along with us. Gave it up. He fires from long range. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He fakes the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Jump hook from the low post and off the mark. Number 33 gets the pass. Nice fake. There's the pick. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Number 50 takes the pass. 10 seconds showing on the shot clock. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Frustration right there. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not finding the open man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries one from three-point land. Way off target. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Number one, makes the shot. Kicks it out. Gave it up. Ten seconds on the shot clock. And they get the turnover. Trying to draw some contact. Up. Easy one. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can fit.
face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Turns it over. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Great anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. He shoots from the top of the circle. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The ball goes out of bounds. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Secures the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. He shoots from long range. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That shot was definitely ill advised. On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Can't get the shot to drop. They work the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. And in and out. On the outside. Number 15 in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Deserves another look, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. He hits it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Look at that spacing. Kicks off the lazy pass.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He throws it up from downtown. Sinks it. That's an 8-0 run. some folks out of their seats. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, oh Mr. Nelson, that's a no-no. Got a man in high post. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. He looks for three. They're having a rough time getting it on the drop, lad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts it up. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets that one to fall. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Tries for two. The friendly and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Step out on that screener. He shoots. No good from the field. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen away. They push it up on the break. They're working around the perimeter. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. From over City, now always really the gate. Any offense. Leans in. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. the dribble gives it up he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier they'll work it around the arc looking for contact and he scores despite the hack in the paint puts it up looking for contact gave it up Two in and out. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension.
jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Dickey's gonna go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific close play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The high screen. Jumps into the defender. Timeout's call on the court. Tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Off the rim and no good. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Oh, oh, oh. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. High post screen. Shots off the mark. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the screen up on top. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it from way downtown. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Seven on the shot clock. Shot clock is dead. He shoots the jumper, and it's in and out. At the half, the Golden Gophers are trailing by 18. It has definitely been an interesting first half. Any plays, Dick, in particular that stand out for you? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Minnesota is building a new court with all the bricks they're tossing out there tonight, Dick. Brick City, USA, baby, without question. Their shooting was absolutely atrocious, to put it mildly. They're going to have to do some serious regrouping in the locker room. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Ooh. 
Number one is called for the foul. First team foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. The Paladins are up by 18. For the deuce, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Good fake. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. In the paint. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He takes the shot. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. They still don't score. Way out on top, controlling the ball, gets the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass play. There's a high screen. Way off target. Tries for two, and in and out. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Up, easy one. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Paladins lead by 20. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it fly. How many bricks did he see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Takes away the pass. Pushes it up. There was no doubt about that one. Goes up for two. Rims out. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Golden Gophers are down by 20. Look at that spacing. He rejects it. Moving it around the perimeter. 
Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Gave it up. The center receives the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. He looks for the bomb. It's good. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Looking for a good shot. Down in the low block. Number 50 is pounded on his way up. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First shot, good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts a three. That's an ill-advised shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores it off the glass. Dump it inside. Double team now, bad angle. Three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Tries for two. In and out. The senior's going to take a trip to the line and get the basket, Dick. That senior determination in a big game, Brad. Number 13 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Sinks it. That's a 10-0 run. Let's see what they set up, Dick. On the outside, number 33 makes a great move to draw the foul. He'll go to the line. Gets his first. Hits his second. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He fires away. Oh, yes. Let us show you the replay on that one. Yeah. 
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Executes the baby hook. They still don't score. Intercepted. Looking for the foul. Off the rim and no good. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steal. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great shot. A momentary look from three-point land. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Off the rim and no good. The center handles the feed. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. pass in the paint they work it back to the outside high post screen gonna use it top of the circle way off target gave it up jumped in front to take it away they work it around the perimeter Yeah, they come with a double team to stop it. He tries the three ball. He comes up empty. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. That's the luxury of the home court advantage. You have the crowd chanting, jumping around, fired up. It is awesome. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. The dribble gives it up for two. Rims out. Up and inside. He puts up the three ball. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Lays it up. it around the perimeter intercepted he attempts the trifecta comes up empty let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Set that screen away. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And in and out. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the free throw line. 
Got it from the free throw line. He makes the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Takes the pass in the paint, and he scores it off the glass. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more oh, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They work it around the perimeter. The center takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Roll it back, fellas. Gives it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Shoots. He gets the shot to fall. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's seven on answer. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picks it out of the air. Then they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really done a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Minnesota are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Number 33 looks to be down emotionally. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. Ten on the shot clock. Off the rim and no good. out of the air for two and he missed looking for a good shot the power forward receives the pass number 50 is charged with the foul that's a high poke takes the shot out of the air the perimeter if he makes the block the center handles the pass the Golden Gophers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick when he's on fire gave it up steals the pass 
the outside. Number 50 draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Second shot is good. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Picked off. For the deuce. Minnesota are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He takes the shot from the baseline. Scorches the net. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Number one's modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotionally, he couldn't be much lower on it. I hate to see a young man struggle like this. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Rims out. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defense. Side. Picks off the pass. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. He buries the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Minnesota are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. He shoots. He gets the bucket to fall. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Sets the screen for his teammate. The kick out. Dump it inside. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Foul, and that stops the clock again. 
And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Baby. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He goes for the trifecta. Foul them early and give your team a chance. There's the trap. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Gets his second. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. For the bucket, drains the shot. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Furman loses in this very well-matched game. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can come away from this game with a moral victory. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.